isn't even 20 years old. 50 years down the line, we can start this, because we'll be the old school artists. And even in that time, I'll say a rhyme, a brand new style, ruthless and wild. Running around, spending money, having fun. Because even then, I'm still number one. Boogie Down Productions, KRS-One, I'm still number one title track from uh, all, by, by all means necessary album, I believe it was 1988, 89, Golden Ever. Uh, <clears throat> the reason why I started off uh, this, this talk with that, I'll get to that in a moment. For those that don't know, I am Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur. Going back to the KRS-One verse, I, I said that verse because that was 30 years ago. And it speaks volumes today. So I entitled this video, Adult Contemporary Rap. Adult contemporary rap is a new genre that I am a part of. Um, I notice a lot of, you know, a lot of a lot of people my age. You know, we are we are we're in, we're in the crossroads in life, and, and, and we don't really have a lot of music. That represents these crossroads and these, and these new, this new growth and these new experiences in our life. You know, uh, the youth has their favorite artists are, are talking about things in the music that the youth the fan is actually experiencing in, in real time with the artists. You know, the fans talking about you know chasing money, chasing bitches, and you know. Uh, going to parties and all this kind of doing the drugs and all this shit. Um, the kids are like, yeah, I'll do that too. Like they, 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 they can rock with that shit. Um, <clears throat> but for over 35 rap fan listener, we didn't, we have very few choices to actually um, listen to in terms of hip hop, rap music that actually speaks to us and our experiences currently. You get what I'm saying? Like I got, you know, if you grew up in the golden era like me, during you know the late '80s, early '90s, you know I was I was coming of age into adulthood at that time. I was a teenager, and um, <clears throat> so the hip hop that we were exposed to was bar none the the the, 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 the cream of the crop of the history of hip hop. That was the, that was what defined. Everything you're listening to now came um, started in that era, really. You know, everything after that was new school. So, if you grew up at that time, you're now in your you know late 30s, early 40s, and even early 50s. So you still listen to hip hop, you're hip hop to the core, but there's very few choices unless you want to just keep listening to classics all the time. And that's what a lot of us do. We don't listen to new shit. It ain't because, it's, it, you know, we're trying to diss the new artists. It's just that it, it doesn't speak to us. You know, a lot of us, we're, we're parents. We got, we're, some of us are grandparents, a lot of us. We're, 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 we're mothers and fathers, we're husbands and wives. We're business owners. We're, 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 we're mortgage holders and homeowners and car note owners and you know, like we have all kind of, you know, we're going through medical issues. You know, our body's changing, you know, <laughs> like all kind of health issues. And we got all kind of things happening with us being in our midlife. We're going through midlife crises and all that. Like, 
this is this is a real conversation. You know what I mean? And um, it's not being it's being had in private, like at the cigar lounges and the barbershops and the hair salons, and you know, uh, we talk about this all the time. But it's not being had on a public platform. We need to get rid of the stigma. So the the age-old stigma in hip hop uh, really started back in the golden era. Uh, Kerris uh, you know, Public Enemy, Eric and Rock Kim. After them dudes came out, everything before them sounded old. It was like, you know, that's old. Y'all washed up and with a new, with a new king. And a lot of these artists spoke about, you know, said this stuff in their rhymes. Like there was this in the old school cast. So. You know, that's been going on forever. So the youth, the, the, the young, younger cats in, in, in rap music that are dissing the older cats before them, that's nothing new. The difference is, uh, back then, we didn't know there was a future to this culture of hip hop. We, we thought, you know, we, would, we didn't know it was going to last this long. So as KRS said, you know, no one's from the old school because rap is still a brand new tool. I'll say no one from the old school because rap on the whole isn't even 20 years old. 50 years down the line, we can start this because we'll be the old school artists. And now we are, you know, 40 some odd years, uh, you know, uh, into hip hop. So um, now we're the elders. You see what I'm saying? So, so that stigma of rap is a young man's sport, and if you're over 30 or over 40, you're still rapping, you're washed up, and you need to quit it. That's absolutely ridiculous at this point in time because now the elders are needed more than ever in this in this rap, in this rap music, and it needs to be a space for us. I mean, imagine that kind of attitude if it was applied to like rock and roll and jazz and soul and R and B and you know reggae and, and every other genre of music. Where would those genres be? They would have died a long time ago. So the only way to keep hip hop alive really is to um, create new classics, you know what I'm saying? Uh, to keep the elders making music, and because um, these, 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 this new music that's coming out, a lot of it's disposable. We're not gonna have any classics to, to listen to 30 years later that's coming out right now. Very few. We have this conversation all the time with my teenage, my teenage son. So we have to hold the torch. We have to continue to hold the torch, and um continue to make music as middle-aged hip-hoppers and the only way to do that is that the fans have to also you know the middle-aged hip-hop fans have to have to support us and celebrate us when we do this and also encourage us to keep making the music because we're making it for you we're making it for us you dig what I'm saying adult contemporary rap uh, the young cast did it with, with, with trap music, okay, this ain't, you know, we're being told this is not traditional rap music, but there's traditional hip-hop, so we're gonna, we got our own shit called trap. And honestly, when it first came out, I was like, well, you know, nah, I don't know how I feel about that, but now, I get it. Because, <clears throat> There's not many things that haven't been done in hip hop music. You, you can't you can't outdo the golden era. You can't outdo the '90s, the '80s, even the 2000s. Like there was some great music coming out, and <clears throat> there's very few things that haven't been done. So to flip it and, and call it a whole other genre, and and make and, and use that genre to to promote the kind of style of music y'all want to make, that's genius. It's ingenious, actually, and that's what needs to happen right now with um, the um, you know the 30, 35, and over hip hop audience as well as artists. Uh, we gotta make more music. We gotta we gotta if you got the skill and you still got the fire in you, you got the talent, you got the platform, brothers and sisters. Like this is the time. The internet, the streaming, anybody could put out music. It's just the fact that. It's mostly people that with very little talent that's putting out all the music. 
these are the things that I think about all the time. Like it's not about dissing the youth. It's about us us all having a space. Hip hop should not be reserved for young people. People under thirty. That's just absurd. Um this culture will truly die if that if that continues to be the case. So, you know, I want you to, you know, tag artists over 30, over 35, over 40 that you know are still making ha- hip hop music. Tag them in this post and, and share their music, celebrate them because and, and, and use that 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 tag on adult contemporary rap. We need to create a new genre. This is this is what I want to see happen. Um, more more middle-aged people, hip hop heads that are still enjoying new hip hop music, from new hip hop artists that are also in their thirties and forties, because we can still we still got it. You know what I'm saying? We we still we still want to we're still hip hop, and we'll always be hip hop. You know what I mean? We shouldn't have to suffer. <laughs> From just listening to the old classics that we grew up on. That's it. That, that shit is like, you know, stuck in the 80s, stuck in the 90s shit. That shit ain't, that's not growth. We have to be able to grow in real, the music needs to grow with us in real time as we're growing. Um, so, I mean, I could go on and on about this forever, really, but I'd rather just show and prove. So, um, my music, I did this video because my music has been called uh, Adult Contemporary Rap, Adult Contemporary Hip Hop. My new album, uh, Crush Grapes Hall and Vintage, is streaming on all platforms right now. And uh, you can check it out yourself. You know, if you, if you dig it, buy it, support it, and share it. You know, even if you don't buy it, let people know if you like it, and, and let them check it out. This is how we have we have to support each other. I'm talking to the you know the the, the over thirty over thirty five cats like we, we can't complain about the music not being enough for us to listen to new artists, but we're not supporting the ones that are out here doing. It. You, they, you gotta come out to the shows. You know, bring your kids with you, let them see what you know this craft is about and what this art form is about. You know what I'm saying? Um, educate them. They'll appreciate it more than you think. My 17-year-old son, his favorite artists are Slick Rick and, you know, Drake. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, because he grew up under me, and he he he, he got it. You know, I, he got a chance to listen to, you know, the Golden Era music. You know, that's that's a balance that that the youth need. They actually need us uh, more than they think or would admit adult contemporary rap. Once again, I am Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur, and these are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. 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 I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of.